Hello, it's Martin here. In this video I want to show how an oyster catcher for a Dutch project is added to the marked birds database. And this project uses banded color rings together with an additional uncoded ring and a metal ring. And to add it we go to add a bird manually to the main screen where we can choose from different projects. And the project that we're after is this one. And the quickest way of adding an oyster catcher for this particular project is by using the short notation method, which you can enter here. So let me just add one, OB210G1. And as you can see, the database translates that short notation into the correct markers and marker position. And in this project, the banded ring is the main ring. And this project uses various color combinations, which is indicated by the first two characters. So in this case, we've got an orange ring, O, with black bands. But this project also uses other color combinations, such as WR for white red, GB for lime and black, RW for red white, GW for green white, MW for blue white, and RB for red black. Let me just change this back to orange black so that we can have a look at the bands a little bit better. And the bands, there can be three of them on the ring, which is indicated by these next three positions, which are all numbers. And this system works in such a way that a band can have three widths. A broad band is indicated by the number two. And if it's placed in the first position, then that band is placed at the top. A center band is placed in the second position. And a one stands for a thin band. And the final position is at the bottom of the ring. And a zero stands for no band at all. You can make all kinds of combinations and whatever you type in is automatically interpreted correctly by the database. And then the next, the next character in the short notation is the color of the uncoded ring, in this case it's green. And there are also different colors used in this project such as white or red, or yellow, etc. And then the final character in the short notation defines the positions of the rings. And what we see here is position one, which is the banded ring on the left tarsus, the uncoded ring on the left tibia. And then if we have a look at position number two, that will be different. And there's a position three, a position four, a position five, and a position six. And this is all interpreted correctly by the database. And then the final configuration is that there can also be two uncoded rings fitted, but it only works for banded rings that are white with a red band and which are fitted in position three or four. And these also come in different combinations such as black and yellow or white and black. And this can also be on position four. And as you can see, the database interprets this real time. So using the short notation, is the quickest way of adding the rings, but as if you can also click on a position on the leg and make manual changes if need be. And then finally, you can add the bird to the database. And that's how this project works.